What's going on everyone? It's me, Alex the Rambler, and my chonker. And today, we're back on Hearts of Iron 4, but we're playing a relatively newly released mod, the 1000 Week Reich. So this is another mod where Germany ends up winning, uh, however, it's, it's a different... It's quite different to TNO. This one is set in 1952 and Germany is already starting to kind of crumble a little bit. I believe England still stands uh, free. It looks like it's going to be quite a fun mod from, from reading the description. Uh, there's a fully uh, immersive alternate history and timeline. Uh, there are tons of different finished focus trees. Oh! A custom UI. There's uh, various different mechanics. A UN mechanic. Mm. But it's definitely one of the most popular mods um, of recent memory. There's over 30, almost 31,000 people are currently subscribed, so I'll leave a link in the description. But let's just get into it. But if you would like to see Hoi4 back on the channel, please do comment, like, and subscribe. 5,000 likes for another Hearts of Iron video. So here we have it. As the British Empire crumbles, the torch of democracy is passed to the rapidly growing industrial powerhouse of the United States. In the East... Uh, Kuomintang consolidates control over China while remnants of the Russian army regroup in the Urals and Siberia. The conflict ended only five years ago, but the unexpectedly fragile New World Order sees signs of collapse. Right. Uh, but here we go. Uh, we have... Ah, they're infighting. We've got um, a stagnant economy. Uh, that's not going very well either, I don't believe. An oversized Kriegsmarine and an overgrown officer corps. So nothing's really going very well for us. I'm, I am going to play as Germany to see if this all just blows up in my face. So, we have the... I don't honestly know what um, this means. Is that the new order? I think it's the new order, right? Then you do still have the Soviets led by Beria. Oh, Beria! Okay. Uh, you have the French state, which must be... They're independent, but they've, they've, they've got to be occupied by Germany at like, some stages. Although they've got this massive demilitarized zone. Uh, what else do we have? This is the entire focus tree. I imagine stuff might be unlocked as you go. At least that's what some mods do. And so we enter into a new year. We face the same problems. Not so subtle factionalism within the party. An economy in free fall and a sluggish armed forces. God, I love my chonker. Okay, uh, nevertheless, I'll still start... Hold on, we've only got 147 factories. Eesh. But technology has been updated, so that's good. They've got a whole new tree. Uh, I'm surprised we don't have... Yeah, let's get some atomic research going, shall we? Focus on the industry too. So far, I'm preferring this UI to the new order. I know that's like a uh, an item of contention uh, amongst most people. I just don't. I, I just don't get on with it very well. Um, the new Warders one is it's too, like, you know, glowy for me. But each, each to their own. Oh, look at these Messerschmitts. Looking tasty. Uh, we have probably a very large armed forces, I would imagine. Only a million men in the... Hmm. Oh, no. There's GDP. What? Do I actually want to see this button? The US has a higher GDP. I don't think we have to worry about the UN. Um, See, so yeah, I don't really have a plan for this. Oh, we've had a... Mm. The coup brought greater harm to the Reich than one might see on the surface. It cost the Reich much in the way of prestige and Germany's reputation on the market. What coup? He's still alive. Oh, no, there is a UN. We're not in it. <laughs> what a surprise. Okay, so we now have decisions to do some economic reforms. Third wave of fake news... Sure, let's get some uh, fake media campaign. Let's get some extra stability. Eternal politics. I imagine everyone's just fighting amongst each other, right? Yeah, factions and rivalries. Loads of infighting. So let's try and do some reforms. Who's the UK led by? Clement Attlee. Okay. And they're in the Toronto Accord. So's Japan. Oh, wow. Okay, so Japan was completely taken out of the war. Republic of China's still there. Oh, India's still right. Okay. Belgium's having some troubles too. Albert Speer paid a visit to Berghoff for a private meeting uh, without the presence of Bormann. While well, the clatter around Speer and Hitler... <laughs> Indeed, Speer, the economy is in shambles. <laughs> the French are striking. Oh, what a surprise. 
Okay, the three proposals made by the respective leaders are now being reviewed by uh, Mr. Führer, with the final decisions being only his. Speer's plan details in various state projects and reforms. Goebbels wants to revamp the German economy, and Goering uh, seeks to reform the entire system. I could just burn everything. <laughs> Let's do the four-year plan. Ooh, test the prototype of the bomb. There are so many events. Oh, Spain is trying to grow a little empire for themselves, are they? Okay, the Spanish state, that is still led by, yeah, Franco, are invading Morocco. Meanwhile, I'm going to go on and do the Reichsbank. Oh, that's a lot of political power to go to partial mob. Wow. Oh my god. Oh dear. Well, it appears the British are still a threat. So far, this certainly seems like a well-made uh, mod. Oh, barrier's gone. And an explosion in Danzig. Okay, well, uh, can I justify on anyone? War goals could only be gained from national focuses. Uh, I'm getting, like, so many of our... Uh, uh, so many events. Ah, oh, the Führer's 63rd birthday. Nice. Italy really didn't end up getting much, did they? Like, maybe a little bit more territory for Italy, a little bit of North Africa, but, like, all of this is all no longer occupied. Ooh, jet engines have been invented. It's a passenger jet plane, too. Cool. <laughs> uh, during reports show that the Führer's health is poor, though the doctors claim there are signs that he's recovering from a stroke back in 1948. There are a few pages of health reports missing, but Borman says that's nothing to worry about. Huh. Indeed. Oh, there's a Russian Republic that's risen up. Wow. Sorry, I, I, I probably should have looked at all of this. Norlisk? I, I, don't, I have no idea, but it, yeah, it's all broken up. Fanta, the official soft drink of Germany. Fanta is pretty tasty. It is better than cola. I don't actually really drink any soft drinks. I just go for like sparkling water and a little bit of like either cordial or squash. Sugar, it's bad for you. Well, natural sugar's all right, in moderation. Space project's been planned. Hot diggity darn. Okay, let's see how that goes. <laughs> it's gonna be a mess, isn't it? Like an absolute freaking mess. And there's already been design flaws in the aircraft. Uh, not the aircraft, the spacecraft. But the space flight is still going to go as planned. What? Who's president? I'd already looked... Oh, Harry Truman. Okay. And then, who's that in Canada? Louis Saint Laurent. And there's still the problem in Quebec. <laughs> Rushed safety test. Oh, I don't think this is good, is it? We should probably stop the launch. No? Oh, I could cancel the launch at the last second. But nay. Let's go to space. Let's start a colony on the moon. Successful launch, despite all of the problems. However, while the spacecraft reached an altitude of 132 kilometers before falling back towards the surface of the Earth, the parachute failed to deploy and the spacecraft impacted ground at terminal velocity. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the guy... The guy... The, 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 uh, the pilot died. Ooh! Uh, oh, Ethiopia has rebelled against the Italians. That's going to be an uphill struggle, well, I would have thought. Ah, Franco's gone. Who has taken over now? Mr. Blanco. Alright. The Führer's health is declining again. Oh dear. So he might be on his way out. Can I actually do this ruling position? I I'm going to have to try and get down that bit. I don't know what it will do. When can I start conquering people again? Or is that not allowed now? Has Germany been curtailed? Come on. Let me conquer. I'm going to spy on the party. Then I can do some reforms as well. There we go. Just do all these reforms. Let the debate begin. The border clashes with the Soviets have been dragging on for ages. And it's finally time to teach those Russians the German ways. Okay. Um, let's send the Wehrmacht. Uh-oh. The Führer's health <laughs> rapidly declines. Whoa! Ah, we won. Good work, Wehrmacht. Oh, dear. Um, he's dead. The most powerful man in the world and the man who defined the last 30 years of history. This was another turbulent month, suffering two strokes and having multiple heart attacks. Uh-oh. Well, here we go! What does one do, I wonder? Can I actually do anything? Oh, the funeral first. Yeah, that, that, that might help. Let's do the funeral first before we start uh, having tons of infighting, eh? Well... Ah. Uh, so after um, a lot of events, uh, Maximilian Wayland has... Is it Wayland? Waymond? I don't know, but he's been assassinated. The Wehrmacht had little influence on politics during Hitler's rule. Um, I think it should probably stay neutral, right? 
Or we can actually get them to... Hmm. Stays neutral. Braun wants to make a speech. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, let, 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 you know, let, let her get it all out. <gasps> Rommel has given a speech. Nice. Thank you. Eva Braun has given her support to Speer. Hmm. There has been a revolt. Yep. And the Moscow Red Army has also formed up. Oh my god. Um, do I need to get involved in this? Ha! St. Petersburg has been renamed to Adolfsburg. Sorry, I just noticed that. There's been the Cossacks League as well. Grain crisis in Ukraine. Everything's um, kind of falling apart at the moment and no one's really asking for my, my help. Yeah, this is an entire mess right here. Oh, and here too. Yugoslavia is in a civil kerfuffle. Oh my god, oh my god. Civil war in Western Russia, yep. Oh my, so, so much going on. Can I do anything? Collapse of the Caucasus. Yep, that's, that's for sure. Look, <laughs> look at this. Oh my god. I like how we're not even intervening. We're not doing anything. Why can't we do anything? Uh, Spear gobbles block storms out. Okay. This is all going to erupt. Gobbles recreates the brown shirts. Oh, gobble, gobble. I'm surprised that the Second Russian Republic isn't trying to intervene in any of this, because this is just foof. A foof! Hermann Goering has offered to lending hand to the council. Right. Um, close the doors on Goering. Senate uproar. Um, I, oh, the political crisis will escalate. Good. That's what we want, eh? <laughs> no chaos. Overall, I'm very impressed with the mod. Everything's running okay. We haven't had any crashes. Tons of events are popping up. And that's only uh, in the first, I think the first hour or so of play. Borman has been ousted. Oh. He's lost all support from within the party. Borman removed. The Wehrmacht we should take control of the situation. Glory to the army. And Eric von Manstein becomes the leader. The army knows best, really. Martial law. Oh my god, yes. At this point, I imagine the Wehrmacht has had enough. They're like, we're, we're fed up with these people. We do, we're going to do what, what we want now. Let us in, mate. Let us in. Oh, Elizabeth II. Dismantle the SS. We were truly foolish to countenance the creation of the paramilitary agency. Mm. Get rid. During all the political chaos, Speer, Goebbels, Goering launched a coup in the name of safeguarding the nation, successfully ousting the ruling body from Germania. And both the Wehrmacht and the future knowledge the government. This new government by Speer, Goebbels and Goering now have temporary control. It's only a matter of time before Germany crumbles. Let's just get the dubious figure in. Ah, are we in a kerfuffle? So there's either Himmler, the government, or the Junta to play as the here Junta. Let's just, uh, let's do that. Ah, by Manstein. Here we go. Good. Our capital is here. Who are we in a kerfuffle with? The Greater German, the SS. We have 89 divisions. They have a lot. We don't have a lot of factories, which isn't uh, great if you think about it. Oh my God! This is this is this is an adventure. What an adventure! We're going on an adventure. And then here, I guess we'll just have to try and hold the line as best as you can. For you shall not be getting any reinforcement. And we only have six military factories. Oh no. We might be at a disadvantage. How many good divisions do we have? Where's Rommel? That took a bit of time setting up. Do we have an air for Oh, we do have a nice, a fairly nice air force actually. I can imagine I'm going to run out of fuel almost immediately. But we'll give the order to attack just to try and grab some territory. Just advance from every direction. Take every town you can get. You can go too, seeing as they're not defending. Volunteer army. Or deep wolf. I don't know what I want. Oh, I see what's happened. So, where it's, um... My whole army's going to die. Uh, and the reason for that... <laughs> I can't get any supply here because we're not linked to the capital. So, all of these, all of the army's going to die from uh, lack of supply. This is more than a little frustrating as I literally can't do anything about it. I don't know why the game would do that. Yeah, my units are just gonna crumble. There's no real hope of us trying to break through there, is there? Maybe with my forces down here, we might be able to 
push through. If I can do that before too many of them die, then that, that'll be a boon. But they just, they're just they actually overrunning my troops already. So I don't know why my troops are taking so long to move when I have aerial superiority. The uh, military volunteer brigades are just um, trash, I believe. The other factions just seem to have a lot more armor. Than well, actually, do you know what? I do have a lot of armor. I am just unable to use any of it because we're all just suffering from insane amounts of attrition. So my whole army was encircled before this even began. I'm literally a tile away from um, relieving them, but I, if I can beat them on this tile, I would have united the forces. What I would love to know is where all of their, like, crap divisions are. <laughs> they can just, just push my divisions without trying. Yep, there we go. Apps just, just, just force back. One unit of infantry can just force my units back, no problem, despite me having aerial superiority. It, it's just, uh... I know I'm out of fuel. There's not a lot I can do about it. And now I'm encircled. <laughs> Maybe if I lose Königsberg, then my capital becomes Vienna. Uh, but in that case, like, I'm already... I, I think I'm dead. My capital's even open and they're not taking it. Okay, okay. Maybe I should have let them do this all... Should have done that all along. Now my capital is in Vienna! And my units immediately have Org again. And these units are now isolated and are going to die. Is it too late though? Can I somehow recover from this? Look at that. One unit of infantry. Oh no, they are being attacked by multiple directions. But, like, come on. The Prague uprising. Swiss have revolted. That's fine. Oh yeah, these troops are all completely gone. In fact, yeah, if we encircle up here, then I think that, yes, all of these are encircled now. Whew. You just withdraw from that tile you can't defend from. I have too many I have too many militia and not enough proper troops. Oh, this is like this is intense micro dude. Well, not even really. They've they've gone uh, off their border a bit. Well, let's try and take back some tiles. A little bit of territory. That'll be nice, won't it? Maybe a factory here and there. Do 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 I want industry. I will stop the attack. We are getting absolutely annihilated up there. This really comes down to me not having any industry currently. Like, I am really suffering with nine factories. What the heck is happening to my factories, man? Dig or die. At the moment, my troops are choosing the uh, latter. Yeah, without any fuel, without any defense, it's just uh, grim. Like, I, I just can't do anything. I've taken half a million casualties. My troops are being overrun. Maybe I should have gone with Speer, making one rifle a day. <laughs> There's actually uh, no options to try and get any... Oh, appeal to the hardliners, I guess. But yeah, there's there's no option to really get any benefits. Oh, 1,000... I could have got some old equipment, 1,000 rifles. Uh, yeah, I have no ability to get any fuel, because I don't have any factories to actually import any. I can't produce anything. So if it sounds like I'm uh, coming up with a load of excuses, uh, technically, I guess. But from the start, I didn't have too much of a hope in heck. Just look at that. One tank division can just take on... Oh my god. Let this be over. <laughs> Maybe once I do this, we get more old equipment. So that's a few more thousand rifles. 15,000 car 98s. That would be great. Um, we get less stability, but who cares about that, right? What I need is guns. Oh, nice. Cool. The US is... Yep. Ceasefire. Since foreigners have intervened... What if I did that? Oh, I... I can just say that there's a ceasefire. But then in reality, just be like, Haha, YOLO. Oh, oh yeah, they're really agreeing to the ceasefire, aren't they? So what faction am I in? I don't know if these have actually... Am I about to sign a white piece? I'd be surprised if they actually let me do that, but... Ah, the People's Germany! Oh my god. Ah! So it's only us two that joined the faction, eh? I think. Oh, what the frick?! They've, um, they've nuked Amsterdam. <laughs> People's Germany has capitulated. Like, if I could try and retake any cities, that'd be great. But somehow... I'm not even sure I could defeat one little infantry division. Oh, no, I can. Um, what's going on in the rest of the world? I don't even know anymore. The Toronto Accord has grown. Oh, no, no, it stayed the same. It's just actually intervening and stuff. Oh, so Speer isn't actually a war of the Allies. 
Neither is the... No, no, what? So it's just me. I think I'm on my way out. There's, there's, there's literally no way for me to expand. If I was just to do like a cheeky... Haha, let's go! I don't think I'd get very far. Because they can just counter and then they overrun me. Because I, I just don't have any equipment or fuel or any kind of resources, really. They've risen up again. So while they're having a little rebellion up there, I'll, I'll try and take a little bit of territory, you know. Maybe get a city or two. Might be nice. Steal some equipment. Well, they've only got their little military police around, mainly. Oh, they're about to finish them off. Okay, well, <laughs> this might be goodbye. Well, I think Speer might be coming for me with everything he's got. Oh, I've just been nuked. How pleasant. I don't see that there's a hope in heck that I'm going to be able to win this. If we take a little look, I, I, yeah, I'm going to end the scenario here. It's just, it's, it's unwinnable. Yeah, negative 2,000 political power, 0% stability, still got water port, um, but no way to actually produce anything. Oh, I can't even produce... <laughs> okay, this didn't go very well. This is a classic Rambler fail, and if you want more of them, please do comment, like, and subscribe. I'll leave a link to the mod in the description. Um, but yeah, very well made. Very well made. Um, but yeah. Speak to you soon. Toodaloo. Many thanks to Onion Duck, Seth Cutter, Sturvik, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Sakurai Mosby, Tad House, Cobbles Taken, Matt Zoov, Vash, Warren P. George, Dave D.Y. The Don, Valhalla Halls, Ya Boy, Ryan Cock, Jack Troku, Jiggly Crotch, Use Beef, Sean Young, and Logan Whaley for being ridiculous for supporters on Patreon. And many thanks to all the other patrons too!